to the very special Hope Wrestling exclusive series of The Magic Word with me, Magic Mark. And with me at this time are Birchill and Blake. Or, 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 or Chris and Chris. Chris Chris. Chris and Chris. Can't get his name wrong, can you really? No, no. Mummy, the name's Chris as well. Is it? Yeah. Three Chrises? Yeah, my dad's, my, my dad's was name was Chris. Four Chrises when we started seven. <laughs> Four Chris's in, in seven. seven yeah. Chris Tyler, Chris and Chris, and. And Bear was Chris. Oh, of course. Of course Chris Adams, same name Forgot as my that. dad. My dad's actual name so is Chris Adams. So you tried sorting that conversation out. Yeah, alright, Chris. <laughs> what? Sorry, Chris? Yeah, yeah, that's I, not, I feel really bad for that. I forgot about Bear. Well, he was. I feel really bad. It's a long time ago, Bear. I mean, how long, how long was seven? It's been about 14 months. No, it's, it's been longer than right. that. Probably about 18, about 18. So easily a year and a half. It was like the unmasking happened at the anniversary show, which was last um, last year. So that was a year. So yeah, it's I mean, been it a year and a half, I'd easily. say. Because you were doing the the black mask stuff before. Yeah. When yeah. Dale came to you with that as an idea, was it something you were like, yes, or you, or what did you think when the, when the idea first came your way? I wasn't part of it. Yeah. <coughs> no. no. no it wasn't. It was, it was supposed to be uh, a guy called Bully Boy Carr. Yeah, he never made an appearance at all. He did. He, well, he did as, as a someone under the. The idea was, I can't, I can't really remember fully. But it was me, uh, Kane Arnell, Stephen Mitchell, Bear, Buddy Boy Carter, um, and then they were toying with the idea of the, the next two. Yeah. So it was either going to be either Buddy Boy Carter was going to stay, and I can't remember for the life of me who else it was, but I suggested. We needed someone who's a bit of a high flyer, which is when we got Chris Tyler. We needed a powerhouse. We needed a big guy because we got the powerhouse. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and it's kind of it kind of all blended in into one. And they kind of happened by an accident as well, yeah. really, because the hope was running their future shows. Yes, and I got the um, like I don't know. It was like called yeah. I was just like the sponsor person for hope. For the future thing that uh, BWRD Mitchell ran. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't booked on the first show, which pissed me off. Right. Because um, like, I wanted to be a part of it. It's called the future. I wanted to be the part of something like building <coughs> up and, and yeah. that. Um, I've always liked working shows like that myself. I always yeah. feel like it, it's nice to say you were part of this thing that became this thing, you know? Yeah, which is nothing now. So. I'm, I'm glad I can do it. I'm glad I can do it. Yeah. Continue the future. So it cost me a lot of money fixing that door. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I weren't meant to be on that show. Uh, me and Tyler done training at LCW that day, but I wanted to go show my face, show a good attitude. Uh, so me and Chris went on and we got booked. Right. So like we made a good impression stale. And then when he wanted to fill the two extra spots for seven, he asked me and Chris to do it and I snatched you jumped at the chest. And, and I think I've, I've seen you do that elsewhere as well. The good practice is don't fucking nag a promoter. Don't go on and on and on. What you do is you show, show you interest in the product. Exactly. Tell them you're interested, you'd like to work for them, and they show interest in the product. I, mean, I don't work for them anymore, but that's how I got the PCW gig. I went to his shows, I enjoyed his shows, and said, if there's something for me, I'd love to work for you. Six months down the line, there was. But show that you know someone's product. Yeah. There's no point saying, right, I want a spot on your show, You, uh, it looks good. <coughs> Say, like, you've, these certain people, like, you've had these homegrown talents, you've made this person, yeah. and this, but like, just show knowledge in that product, yeah. not just go do out you, looking do for you a history, job. Do your research. And the reality is, <coughs> particularly now, with pretty much any company that's got enough content, they're doing online stuff. And instead of having to buy lots of DVDs for a tenner, subscribe for a month. That's all you need. Subscribe for a month, watch their product, and you're up to date. Yeah. It's even easier now than it was See, five or six it's years it's ago. Well, the thing is, you can watch it on your phone, can't you? Yeah, so, exactly. You know, I remember the days where I could just make a phone call and send a text with 140 characters. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Now I can watch. Like the network, you know, all these different you know, on demand kind of uh, companies. That noise, by the way, is we're actually outside, and that rainy noise is actually rain. Because look at this, right? Isn't it pretty? Oh, look, look, breaking the fourth wall. Isn't it pretty? We're in the walkabout for our uh, SummerSlam show. And I just, not that the camera can see, but I thought someone's looking at us. There is, I'll, I'll take a photograph wow. of that and stick it on screen now. But there's a really scary old woman looking at oh, us. Yeah. I just went to the rain. I can't see that because the beam was blocking yeah, I don't the light. Like it, but what, <laughs> while we've been talking, that lady would have been on the screen to scare everybody else. Because she's genuinely scary to fuck. <laughs> 
I spotted her earlier and was like, no, I think I nearly made Dale cry. <laughs> Look at her, boom. But Seven is gone, and I think you should reveal to the world what your new tag team name is. It was hard work. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. A lot of people That's my saying, fault. Yeah. I, I was, I was if I wanted to do something, like I wanted, I wanted to work, I wanted to sound right, and yeah. um, I just don't want to give in to the, right, that's your first option. Yeah. Like my mum and dad always said to me, like, if you go to shop, don't buy the first thing you see. Wait, try and see what else right. there is. And that's like the kind of mentality I was thinking about this name. Right. And even I suggested the baddies, but you weren't keen on that. Uh, it, it was, was baddies. There was, loads, there was a lot of input from a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. um, but we we, 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 so we must be talking for weeks and weeks and weeks. Even at shows, you got any ideas? Now I caught with something, and it, it kind of the bastards. Yeah, but then you've got Dave Mastiff, the bastard. He is a bastard. You've got, you know, we, you've got to remember you, when it comes up with a tag, with a tag name. The old school days were like Legion of Doom, Demolition, uh, the Beverly Brothers. It was something catchy, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Nowadays you've got things like London Riots, you've got the Hooligans, the Predators. Great yeah, names. All yeah, those. exactly. And that's, and that's why we didn't jump into it. Yeah. And because a lot of people are like, which goes off too. <laughs> yes. Did I mean? Suggested yeah. two. Yeah, because we we were seven, and now we're just two. But I wanted to name that. If you say it, it looks like us and sounds like us. Right. Yeah. Because what does if you say two? Like, do we look like two? Yeah. There's two are you? But that's about but, it. Yeah. That, that's all so, like, common with it. That's the you, thing. Look, you said the London riots. When you think, what do you think of when you think of that? The UK hooligans. Scary bastard. Well, like you in you the cricket bat. When you hear that. <laughs> yeah. So you, 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 you needed a name that sounded like what we are. Tell the world, boys, because I think it's a nice name. Um, Hard Knocks Ink. And, and it's ink spelled so I-N-K, 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 I-N-K because I-N-K. scary people have tattoos. Wait, it's scary. Okay. Wait, we're going to fourth wall one again. I like doing that. Say hello to the people out there. Oh, I don't. Right. <laughs> Tell me about wrestling in Germany, because you're like so you you keep like all your success really quite close to your chest, and you you've been wrestling in Germany for ages, and you just randomly mentioned it. it was like really. So, so what's where? How did you end up wrestling regularly in Germany? Yeah. Uh, I accidentally. Oh, I'm not accidentally. Uh, yeah, I accidentally bumped into um, the German Eagle in I think it was the Mansfield for an MCW show. And at the time, I was the MCW Heavyweight Champion, right? No. And it was a two out of three falls match against a guy called Freddie Nova. And the last uh, fall, it was one one, and the Eagle was supposed to come out and hit me, setting up a, a program with me and him. So I'm on the blog thinking, how on earth are you paying for a guy from Germany? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Because obviously, they didn't have a lot of money. But then, you know, they're bringing, on, bringing in these guys from, you know, different countries. I was like, there's something not right here. So the, the final spot was he comes running at me with a chair, I dock it, it's throwing over, I get in the ring, it gets carried out. Simple. Yeah? Right. So he came in, hit him, bang, fucking great chair shot. Freddie Glasson didn't have time to put his hands off, he just took it, it was funny as hell. And me and the me and the German Eagles stayed friends ever since. And that was four and a half, five years ago. And the only reason why I keep it to my chest, and I, I mean I've taken Big Blake over. Um, we did the seven oh, gimmick. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. That's ice. Yeah, no, we did the seven gimmick. Over Taking there. over Hard Knocks Inc. At some point, maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, with Germany, there's a lot of good companies out there now. Um, I'll be honest. There was there was a time where there was a couple of okay ones, and then you had your three main kind of like WXW, GHW, um, uh, GWF. Like there was big promotions with with big, you know, big names. Yeah. Um, and we went over for GHW, wrestled for their tag t- titles against uh, Maggot and Bernd Fuhr. And we came up short, unfortunately, but we did it, you know, gave ourselves a good outing. Um, but I've got to be honest, the only reason why I keep it close to my chest and I don't brag about it is because for me it's going to sound like shit, but I don't have an ego and I don't brag about what I do. But sometimes maybe you should do. Um, and, and it's there's a line, isn't there? There's there making is. sure everyone knows your success and this pushing it into people's faces. Exactly. For me, when it was announced, I kind of shouted out a bit because I was kind of proud. Like, I never in my wildest dreams ever thought that I'd do any, any of the stuff I'm doing in wrestling now. So let alone to go wrestle, get, get paid to wrestle abroad. 
is, and that was the main thing was to get paid and not to go out there and just give myself up. Yeah, like that was, it was amazing. Like they treat us like kings, man. But we got there was food. We got a massage after the match. Uh, yeah. Wait, this, if you must, did you did you all get a massage? Or was it just yeah, it was, for you? It was for everyone yeah. basically. The bookers at Hope need to give us massages. Rob Sharp's your man, he's got a massage. That's, 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 that's true. That's not a massage, that is just agony. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, okay. It fixes you, yeah. doesn't it? I've never, no, I've never actually accepted a massage from so it. It's I've painful. Been, I've been told Crazy. it's painful, but it works. Yeah. 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 I know loves them. Yeah. And Jigsaw, oh, yeah, but Jigsaw takes a hundred crazy ass bumps. And you just, I worry about that last. It seems to be a new craze, like what crazy bumps can people do? Yeah. Like I look at Ashley Dunn and I don't know how his neck is whole. Yeah. Yeah. He lands on his head. Constant. I think I every can't, match, I can't, it's. I can't, yeah. Whoa. The thing is, if he keeps doing it and he's only like you know X amount of matches in, he's gonna you know fuck himself up sooner rather than later, and he's got to be really careful. For me, it's you a know, special bump. Like yeah. don't do it in every single match. No, no, no. I've seen you do a cannonball on wood. You can't Twice. talk about. But you yeah, can't. You can't talk about. That was the anniversary weekend. That was the whole way to do it. Right. There's got to be a reason to do it. You ain't gonna go and kill yourself in front of you know 20 people. You're not because you know you give them what they what they expect. But you don't you know kill yourself for it. Because he's talented as hell as well. Mm. Yeah, That's yes. the thing. He's not like he's a. He's a crap wrestler. As long as he stays humble and grounded, he'll be, you know, he'll be one of the next best high flyers. I think he's, I think he's got something, and I think that he will be something that, particularly in hope, because they've given him the opportunity. I think he's going to do very, very well, and um, that's that's something that I like about hope is that if you get the right storyline after the right attitude, you really can run with the ball. Yeah. And you, we've seen that with a lot of guys, like 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 Tyler and Reigns, like yourselves. And it's, yeah, but Chris Tyler's a phenomenal time. Absolutely. He's, I can't speak highly enough about the guy. We don't like him in, 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 in character. Yeah. As a, as a the rest of these, the, the, a different. Everyone thing. says that Brains, Tyler's dad. Um, for me, I feel like I'm his dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I, I brought Chris Tyler to LCW, I brought him to Hope, I brought him to Southside. I brought him into my home and he stays in my house near enough every weekend. He is like a child and watching him is like I panic sometimes and yeah, I, just, I don't know, it's, there's some, we've got a very, very close relationship. He's a good guy. He's nice. Yeah. And he gets, to eat, he gets to eat what he wants and still keep their mouths. <laughs> I hate him. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I don't look like Chris Tyler with my shirt off, but I can eat what I like. And I stay slim. <laughs> look at look at my beautiful slim. Thirty eight, and I'm this slim, and I eat lots of cake. Fucking love cake. Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Oh, love Ben and Jerry's what ice flavor? cream. What uh, flavour? Cookie dough. Uh, I can't even take brownie. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Brownie, cookie brownie cookie or caramel choo choo. Nice that. More of a Hagen Dazs fan myself, to be fair. Oh. Cookies and cream Hagen Dazs. You no. can't get. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. I've yet to try it, but uh, mate, you still. like it. Right, well, I think having talked about our favourite ice creams, that's probably a great way to end the show. So, thank you, Birchill. You're welcome. Thank you, Blake. Thank you. And thank you for watching The Magic Words.